Hey, hey. Nice and cozy right here. Perfect. All right. Are we on? Got my yelp. We're, we're on. Cool. So I was telling Robert, man, this is it, it was like a pill just to get out and drive. It's like a hour, hour and 16 minute drive. And I had you guys on full blast with a bunch of songs for Well, oh, thank you. You're our biggest fan of <clears throat> You are. I wish there was about three million. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't need I three can't. million. I just I, don't, I need a half a million. That'd be fun. A couple hundred. Oh, we have, we a have, couple hundred. Yeah, we have a lot of fans. In one night. night. We have a lot of fans on the internet, but they don't, they don't come to our show. Yeah, yeah, that's because they're all far away. We have, we've got people in Germany, we have lots of friends in uh, yeah. Japan, London, and all over. The uh, uh, the, mo the most fans that I figure that we have though are Mexico. all in um, Brazil. We have like 500 fans there alone. We can't get there. It seems the Hispanics, uh, they, they like metal. Yeah. You know? And they like, they, Christian, like Christian, Mexico, they like Christian themed metal. We have a lot of fans in Mexico. We, have a <laughs> US, we sing metal. We sing about God <clears throat> singing it. Metal. Got about 75 friends, uh, uh, fans in uh, Peru. One of them's a, uh, a niece of mine from a previous oh, marriage. One of them's <clears throat> We did a we did an interview not, uh, a few years back with with our old bass player, and and this guy uh, he told us that we had like one section that was all darkened out, and he said it was all overseas and like like around Japan, Hong Kong. He said most of our fan base was in that general area. Remember that? He was in the general area, so we have a lot of fans in the cities, London, and then uh, Mickey Spectrum said we have a lot of fans in Britain. Australia. Australia, 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 London, Japan. Uh, Maybe we could recruit about a hundred people to go out on the streets and protest. Maybe we could play at the space Turn station. Some cars over and stuff. We could play at the International My Space Station. The ultimate update for three days in the grave. Um, the Kryptonite Volume One. Yeah. This is like Kryptonite Bongo Boy Records. Right. Volume One. Right. And between. Imran Ahmed, Three Days in the Grave, and Greg Whitestock, three of you guys are on that one production. Yeah, right. Awesome. awesome. And We're then good. there's the uh, Dolly Parton thing. Right. To Robert, how did you guys manage to, to get on that volume one Bongo Boy Records? Well, uh, it's interesting is, is because these people reached out to us at first, and I believe it was Greg that the, uh, the the head of the Bongo Boy Records reached out to Greg, and Greg, you know, tossed the idea at us, and so we decided to throw the song My Love For You on there. But then I started thinking, you know, why are, where are we going to stop there? Let's, you know, throw a few more songs out, and we talked to Greg, uh, Amron into throwing the song on there, and then as of recently, our uh, bass player, Greg, has decided to start writing some songs. And um, <clears throat> we're working on adding those to our shows as well, the songs that were in, on that record. And, and that album is That's uh, nice. that album being submitted to the Grammy Recording Academy. Yeah. The Grammy Recording Academy, Academy now has a submission for Yeah, for the, uh, for the Kryptonite. The Kryptonite. Yeah. Yeah. And it's well, not really sure what category. K-R-Y-P-T, and then it's Two lines, two, no, like a numeral, numeral two. Numeral, Roman numeral uh, one, in, yeah. uh, two ones. So yep. it's two but, in Roman numerals. Yeah, yeah. Crypt, K R Y P, two, Roman numeral two. Knight, like the knight, -I like a knight, you know, on yep. a horse with this, with the, whatever those things are called. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you can go on Bongo Boy Records. That's pretty easy to find. And yeah. they have the list of all the. Uh, different albums that they've come out with. Well, one, one of the things that we found out that, you know, just like the Beatles found out when they were doing studio songs, that sometimes songs that they did in the studio weren't so e easy to recreate in a live setting. So we're working on making sure that live songs that we, or songs that we did in the studio will be done live. When you, when you have somebody from Pakistan, it's so far away, you can't get them here to you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So we got to do it ourselves, and then, then how is unless we get him on a big screen, how is he gonna feel the? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's, it's like somehow it's he like, does it. It's like no, I mean, how is he gonna feel? Well, Imran created those songs. I mean, so yeah, he created them. So you know, they're unique to him. 
and it's pretty cool that he included us in it but you know without Imran it's really kind of yeah pointless hard so for us to unless do we, unless we get him on a big screen or something he's the one that's got here. the he's, it, the he, song he's a good master he, he created Fire. that song you know and, and it comes from him you know so like we can do our little parts in there but you know, it's really, if we don't have him, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the song. Yeah. So the know. song, My Love for You, that's, that's, my, that's, that's my song. That's, that's, that's one of them that, that you were that, doing that, at that the studio, right? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. one of our songs. That's our song. So how did you get it on Kryptonite? <laughs> did, okay, so. Did Emeron finish it? Part, that song, I can just do it. That was the first song uh, we that put That was out. the first song that we actually went in the studio and recorded together. The one that with, I was with you? No, I was another time. Same studio, though. Yeah. yeah, same studio, but that, that was a different time. Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. Dennis Rennick, uh, Rock yeah. Zion Records. You know, so, but extraordinary. in my opinion, that particular Dennis song Rennick also Rennick's. represents the best of what we do. And uh, I kind of wrote that song. I started that song in 1982 and then put it in a guitar case and never touched it again yeah. until 2011. And then <clears throat> I work in a hospital as a respiratory therapist, so my free time is limited to however they decide to um, schedule me. So he was blessed to be able to go into the studio and have just a little more time to work on that. <clears throat> and, you know, I don't know if you remember being a kid when it seemed like a day lasted for a long time, and now you blink your eyes and the day is gone. Yeah, it's crazy how that is. In a year from one age to another. <clears throat> oh, yeah. When we were in the it's studio, it's more valuable now, I think, with the COVID thing because, like, it's been so hard to get gigs and, like, nothing's happening. And for us to be able to get out here and play, if there, even if there's just, like, you know, we had a small crowd, but it was nice, you know. And they were yeah, but for Gene, too, man, he's had a, a really hard time with uh, his kids and stuff. And I'll let Gene speak about that. Right. <clears throat> I was going to Hollywood, you know, playing music, getting money, and and uh, my friend lived here, he uses bongos. We were out of time, my kids with me, and we're on the, we're on the train. We ended up in downtown Long Beach, and, for, and I was gonna get off right there and just catch the two thirty two and go back to the hotel. But something told me, you know, go to the end. It was just like something was just holding me. I think God holding me. So I get off, and the lady's like, "Are you homeless?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah," I'm, 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 but I was kind of scared. All I saw was the cops around me. Yeah, clipboard, and I didn't see her badge, but I was turning. So I kept saying, no, 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 because I thought it was a CPS. The cop's like, look, we're not here to take your kid. We're, we're here to help you, especially the COVID thing. I was like, yeah, I'm holding So she goes, okay, I'm going to put you up. So within two hours, I was put up in the place. I mean, um, God's been blessing me. Yeah, I've that been in the place for like a month. Yeah, was a total about blessing. That. Yeah, I remember I talked to you about that for a while. We were in America, yeah. And I was just, with three kids, man, it's just, it's really hard, you know, and, and being a single parent. You know, people don't understand my situation. They don't know what's going on. But you know, that's 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 another time. Yeah. But but you know, I I've been fortunate to have God. You know, God helped me. He's had friends help me. Um, I know. Yeah, the steps of a righteous man really are ordered by God. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting is because uh, we got to rehearse the other day for the first time in months. I haven't played in months, man. It was, it was like my. I mean, even Howard said I was just very calm and just. It's like I've been practicing every day. He noticed the difference. You know, well, we noticed it. it. We noticed a difference completely, and it I was like tell on the video that feeling that I, calm. that yeah. feeling that I had out here on the stage tonight. I had in the studio. And then we were would, playing the, the rock and tunes, but it was we were we had a relaxed feeling. Like, yeah, and, and you know what's funny is because a lot of times I'd come here feeling nervous, and I didn't even feel that tonight. No. I felt just like. like it was like the peace of God. Yeah, it's about just, time. It was like the peace of God. <laughs> about about time. Time. <laughs> well, and, you know, and Never seen the righteous forsaken. It's exactly. funny. It, it's funny when you say, oh, you know, Gene got to get out and play. Well, it's pretty much true, man. I mean, yeah. Because I have a big responsibility, which I'm not complaining about. It. I really, I, I don't complain about it. But to do music, man, when, when, you, when you don't, when you have to be around all with your kid, you can just sit down and listen to your music. You just... It's an interesting well, time yeah. that the whole it's world time. is going through. Yeah, it's time, yeah. It's Not time. only are you, you going through this whole world pandemic, reason, you know? you're, you're going through this, and it's like... But you know what? Even though we're going through, through all that stuff, God has been supplying our needs. Yeah, it's, it's right. amazing, man. You know, and, and my riches are in heaven, man. You know, I really is. I tell everybody, you know what? Yeah. I'm not doing this to get rich. I'm not doing this to take over the world. 
I'm not. I'm doing this because because if I can if I can get if, if one person can get saved from the music we do, you know, even though That's I'm not singing it, even though I'm not singing it, I'm up there playing it, yeah. and and people can hear him singing us doing the music. And if one person gets saved, my job is. And, and even if you think you're just singing to the choir, if saved people can be encouraged. Exactly. It's all good. You yeah. have people come it's up to him. Positive. You have people come up to him, him at the Whiskey Go Go and be like, you know what? That you know, I wasn't sure about Jesus, but that 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 my love for you, Jesus song, I really like that. <laughs> people actually yeah. got saved from that song. Man. Yeah, and 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 uh, you know, Robert, Robert was, was sitting was down and talking to a couple of old timers, and just think how blessed these old timers were. It was like, yeah, That's this is such nice. An amazing this song. is nice to just That's sit down well, with somebody. What was interesting is this uh, lady that I work with brought her her brother. And her brother had a great time. Thought it was fantastic. He's in the Navy. Uh -huh. So he's off on furlough right now. And wanted to hang out with his sister. And his sister wanted to come and check us out. Because she, has, she, hasn't, she, seen she hasn't seen us in a while. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, well, the last time... Like, last the time was there. Yeah, I remember the last time. last time we saw her was at the... Um, at the uh, Whiskey A Go-Go. Oh, that was a hotel ago. Oh, that one. No, I know you're talking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah just, just to be in an out of the ordinary moment in this COVID thing is like <clears throat> nice. awesome. It is. It's a nice. From this is but you know what? I really love these guys, and um, really happy that they're my friends and that they put up with me, even though I'm a little on the, on the insane and crazy side. Yeah, well, you I can be guy, irritating. I've known this guy my whole life, man. You what? I've known this guy my whole life since '85. I've known him. Okay. Well, my whole life. Like he's like he's my brother. He he just a friend. I was twenty one. I am closer. I'm closer to him. Been together for a long I'm time. I'm closer to him than my These two guys. Uh, we got back together. What's interesting is is because oh, uh, we stopped playing together for a while, and I was driving down the street around 2000, 2000, it was 2000. end of two thousand, and uh, I looked over at this bus stop, and I go, man, that looks like Rob. Well, Lord, if you want me to to get together with him again after I drop my son off, I'll. He'll be there when I get back, and he was. And what was funny is that I was working across the street from his house in the hospital. I used to work in the company, used to make rotation cabinets. And I used to see the house all the time. When I used to look, I said, well, that's a nice house over there. I didn't know it was his house, but when I seen him, I thought he was a cop because he looked all nice and stuff. Because when I met him, he didn't have anything. I mean, he was a, you know what I mean? I'm like, he's like, you remember Greg, Gary, and Robert? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he said, no, I'm Robert, not Gary. And then, I, and then I saw him, and he goes, I told him, he goes, you said you still do music. I want to play a little bit. He goes, he, 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 let's do coffee shop music. So and that. then we were doing uh, acoustic and sitar gigs then, because I could play the sitar and play the acoustic guitar, and I didn't really need another musician. And if I did have another musician, it was nice, but I didn't have to rely on anybody. Where Greg and I, we played one night here with just him playing bass and me playing guitar and it was all right but it wasn't fantastic oh, like we tried tonight. to play the three days in the grave songs without jeans so yeah th those songs are very signature all the riffs and everything that they're not like just regular songs you know and the drums gene and robert have been together for so long played those songs together Gene knows every single little nuance of what Robert's going to do. One then time, you got that yeah, one time, that one time is, yeah, when he's you do that his stepson, his stepson was uh, setting up the stuff to uh, record it. Remember that time, and, and, and Robert saw, why don't you play one of our songs? Just just play it. With no music. And I played Go Cat by Twin by myself, huh? On the drums. With no music. I just all did the breaks and everything. All the breaks, I did it. I just, go the music was in my head. Yeah, Go Cat by Twin. Yeah. I did all the breaks, I knew exactly where to put everything. And they're like looking at me, and I did the whole song by myself. Yeah, yeah, that was trippy. <clears throat> so it just goes to show you that, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, if, it's in your DNA. When you play with somebody for so long, it's like you, you know stuff. So when you try to get someone else in there to do it, so they can't do we it. We tried somebody. that. <laughs> because unless they sit down and know Robert and they play with them, it didn't work. They can't do it. Cause they, they, they got the guy Pierre, and then he used to play with Black Flag. And he couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's the thing is that. Basically, my music, I write to go for my lyrics. So sometimes it's not quite within 4-4 four, four thing. My, I have a, I'm, I'm a unique writer, all right? They you, have know, you have to know exactly where to put the drums in. <clears throat> but 